Pisces, how's it going? What's been going on? Today I'm going to be giving you a full reading. I haven't done full readings for you guys in quite some time. So tonight is the whining moon phase of when I'm recording this video. So I thought I would pull a moonology card and use this as a guide for your reading tonight based on the moon's energy. And it says, what do you need to release? So that is what we're gonna look at. What do you need to release? moving forward into the fall right what it says is your situation has peaked for the better or worse and it's time for you to go easier it's the autumn and winter of the cycles so what do you need to release <laughs> it says that it's safe to let go and move on additional meanings for this card is move forward with as little resistance as possible this is not a time to start new projects release emotional baggage or release emotional baggage is recommended now say sorry to someone do energetic work such as meditation or yoga and soon you will see what lies ahead so we're going to use the oracle cards or the tarot cards to see what lies ahead for you moving into the falls energy if you're new here i'm tamsi Bay. If not, welcome back. I'm so glad you came. I do read the cards to the light to you, to the dark journey, so there's no confusion. This is your past energy for Pisces. Wow, all the cards are coming right out for you. There's no confusion here about what's coming. Love is coming for you. I can see that. Okay. <laughs> so, for your past energy, you have the magician. I feel like you were determined about something. I feel like you're just trying to make magic happen for you. Maybe it was just unrealistic timing for you, but you were trying nonetheless. I feel like, you know, I feel like you've been trying to manifest something for yourself or at least trying to manifest some good positive energy. Maybe you're trying to be a little resourceful. You also have the hermit with the hermit in the dark. I feel like I feel like you're going through a phase of interception. You know, I feel like you were looking for answers within yourself. Um, maybe you're doing a little soul searching. Maybe you're just trying to figure out, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? You know, am I in the right place? Is this my journey? Is this all life has for me? You know, I could kind of feel that energy. You have the two of cups in the dark. With the two of cups in the dark, I feel like there's been a struggling. I feel like maybe there's been a little bit of conflict between you and somebody else. I don't know if the two of you just weren't seeing eye to eye or just weren't agreeing on something or other. I feel like a lot of that had to do with something from your past. I feel like maybe your past has snuck up on you and maybe that has caused a little bit of a conflict here. Like, you know, I'm just so used to doing things this way and this person's like, well, I want to do things that way. You know, like, I don't know what the energy was or what the argument was. Just trying to clarify some of the energy around this as it may be trickling into your present and future energies right you know the six cups in the dark i feel like there's there's just some kind of energy about not being able to let go and just having feelings that are unrealistic for that time that was in your past so you know things can always change from then to now you know just feeling like there's a little bit of clinging on to past loves or just past situations you know i feel like that is causing a lot of cloudiness in your mind about how to move forward you know struggling to let go of some of that energy your present energy, you have the Knight of Cups in the light. The High Priestess is in the dark, though. You have the Four of Wands in the light and the Ten of Pentacles in the dark. Hmm. Let's just see here. With the Knight of Cups in the in the light, I don't know why I want to see the dark. The dark is like just not being satisfied. Maybe even though things are doing well in your present energy, you're still not feeling satisfied, you know? Maybe just not satisfied, like, you know, bedroom department, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, I just kind of like sensing that a little bit, but you know, there is love there. There is somewhat some romance. I can feel that energy, you know, 
I feel like you're just ready to take action of what is to come next. But I still, even though you're ready for it, I feel like you're kind of like hesitant or just not motivated to do so, you know, for some reason. You have the high pretest in the dark, but the high pretest in the dark, I feel like, um, So you're just trying to play it safe, you know, just trying to agree with whatever you need to agree with. You just want to, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's okay, it's okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, you know, I'm fine, there's nothing wrong here. You know, I just want to keep the peace, I just want to, you know, hold the fort down and do what I need to do, keep my nose clean kind of thing, you know. Not really putting in much effort into it, but I feel like you're losing um, your connection with your intuition and your instincts on how to move forward and how to deal with the situation in a better light. You also have the Four of Wands. So I do feel like there's going to be, like, I do feel there's happiness with the King Knight of Cups. The Four of Wands, there is happiness. There is contentment. You know, there may be a, something to look forward to celebrate or just kind of that energy, you know? Mm -hmm. With the Ten of Pentacles also in the dark, I'm feeling there may be a little bit of a conflict. I don't know if the conflict is between, like, you and, like, I don't know who this conflict is for, but I just do feel like there's a bit of a conflict. I just feel like it's someone that is close to you, like like someone who's like family to you or family to you. Now, if they're not your family member, I feel like they're like family to you or maybe you're like your partner or something like that. You know, I'm just kind of like feeling a little bit of a tension here, you know. I just feel like whatever it is, it's a bad time to start something new. Even though something has ended and you want to start something new, it's, it's kind of like a bad time to start something new, you know. And the Moonology card also said that, you know, it's a bad time to start something new right now. But that's just the present energy, right? That's just the moon that you're under right now. So that could change. That could change. <laughs> Energies are always changing. Just because this is the, change, the energy right now. Maybe this has already been blown over by the time you see this reading. You know exactly what is going on. So let's just look into the future of what is coming. Like, what is next? So what are you moving towards? You know? If you release all this negativity, I feel like you can rebuild your tower, you can rebuild your foundation, you can rebuild what you've been what you started before all this commotion. You know, whatever that was for you. You know, yeah, with the tower I do feel like you were able to reconstruct something. You know, I know there was a little bit of chaos there. There may have been some unexpected changes going on there. But I feel like, you know, you could just rebuild it. Okay. We got knocked down and get ourselves up and keep going. The Knight of Swords is in the dark. With the Knight of Swords in the dark, I do feel like there's a little bit of unfocused, just because of the restlessness and the repulsiveness and just wanting big changes to come fast. I feel like things are not coming fast enough for you, and you're moving so fast that things are being overlooked and you're missing some little opportunities. I don't know if you're aware of that, but I feel like moving into the future, like you need to slow down, you know? Maybe get off your horse and walk your horse a little bit, you know? Just slow down a little bit. Make sure you're not missing these little opportunities because sometimes we overlook the little tiny details that open up bigger energies for us down the road, you know? It could be something as easy as just, you know, taking a different route down a different road can just all of a sudden open a new door just by changing that energy. You know, it's not the normal way you go down, go somewhere, but you know, it's a Sunday afternoon, I want to sightsee what's happening there, so let's just, you know take this road see where it goes and then mm, you know your energy just changes it's weird how that works but it does the five cups i feel like you're just right across this bridge whatever happened before it's water under the bridge now you're going to be able to cross it i feel like there's going to be changes and challenges coming towards you but you're in the rebuilding phase we know that you're in the rebuilding phase you have the tower you know five cups you can stack those cups back up if any one of them fell over before you just pick them up put them back to where they need to be on this bridge there cross it all the nonsense all the negativity is under the bridge you're good to go mm -hmm. page of wands is in the dark the page of wands in the dark i feel like you're going to have some new ideas. You're going to be inspired in new ways moving forward. You know, I feel like there's a little bit of anxiety and worried about what the future is going to look like for you. But I feel like you can trust that it's going to be okay. I can feel that you're not going to because you're, I don't know, it's clouded about what is coming for you. But, you know, I can see like you're deeply invested in this, whatever this is emotionally, you know, it's so, like you feel like you're doing the right thing. I feel that for you for sure. Let's just clarify what messages that the universe have for Pisces. What is the positive light that they are coming into? What is coming for Pisces this fall? Ooh, there's some interesting things here. You have the Nine of Pentacles. With the Nine of Pentacles, 
<sighs> I feel like you're going to be working on your self-worth and be working on yourself. I feel like you're going to be overly invested in yourself, which is not a bad thing. You know, you need to take time for yourself and do things that are for you this fall. You know, I feel like you've been giving in a lot of yourself to other people, but I feel like now is the time to no. Okay, I put in all my effort into others, and now it's my time. I need to focus on myself and get myself put back together, and, you know, I can feel that for you. You know, the Three of Pentacles, it's like, what's the next step for me? Like, what's the next step in my relationship? What's the next step in my success? You know, what is the next step for me? Like, me, as a person, you know? Like, what, how am I going to grow from this? And Three of Pentacles, I feel like... I do feel like there's a little bit of low, low motivation, low energy going on here. But I feel like, you know, you need to remember this is not a competition. It doesn't matter how fast you move forward, as long as you're moving forward. You know, there's no race. Everybody moves forward at their own speed. You have the magician again. The magician is in the dark this time. Hmm. You have the magician in the light. Magician in the dark. I feel like the magician is in the dark is because you have, some, you have potential that you're not using. Like I feel like you have potential. You have something that you can use and be successful with. You know, whatever that is for you, you know, I just need to tap into it. And I can feel yourself dealt like, I don't have potential. I can't do that. I can't do this. Mm -mm, I can't. But, you know, Carver's like, yes, you can. You got the potential. <laughs> you can do this. You can manifest this. You're trying to manifest something there. I know chaos happened, but, you know, get back to it. You can still continue to manifest this. <laughs> whatever that was for you. You have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles, I feel like... You know, hard work lays ahead, but I feel like you're going to be productive. I feel like you're going to rebuild your routine. I feel like you have a strong willpower. You know, I feel like your relationships are going to get better. I feel like you're going to be more focused moving forward. Yeah, you just got to, like, finish what you've started. You know, I know the card say it wasn't a good time to start whatever that was for you, but that was the moon phase we're in now. But this is going into the fall. So by the end of August, going into September, I feel like that is a time to start whatever you started to manifest it. I don't know if it's like starting something new on YouTube or like, you know, whatever that is, applying for whatever job or a career, whatever it is for you that you're thinking about doing, you have the talents. I feel like you have more talents than you're even realizing that you have. You haven't just, just haven't tapped into them fully. Maybe you need to learn more things about them, but they're there, and I feel like that is definitely going to bring you some light going into the fall. <laughs> that is what I have for you. I'm going to switch the screens. I have a Oracle card message from Tansy Faye's Secret Voice, so let's just see what the cards have for you. Let's just see here. Oop, found an Oracle. I'm not going to argue. Ooh, this one came out illusions mm. so make sure your desires are realistic and not just illusions is my advice it is far harder to kill a phantom than a reality kind of true right if it's reality you can just say no i'm not doing it but fantasizing about a dream is harder to kill if that's your dream and you want to make it reality you know, just start one step at a time if you want this reality to come. Put your time and effort into manifesting those desires. Because you can't just kill them that easily, you know. Maybe you need to tap into that potential the magician was telling you about. You know, you can manifest what you need to manifest moving forward. Yeah, that's what I got for you. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or X and discord <laughs> i'm also live every tuesday wednesday and thursday some sundays and some other random days <laughs> but for sure tuesday wednesdays and thursdays so you can come and ask any questions you would like and yeah <laughs> i'll see you next time bye